Hello and welcome to Clayton Update. I'm Jessica Jewell, a Clayton High School graduate and broadcast student at East Carolina University. Anyone up for a free movie under the stars? It's our first Zaxby's Movie Night in Town Square tomorrow with Dusty and his friends in Planes, Fire and Rescue. The fun always starts at 6.30 p.m. with face painting by Sybil the Clown, a bouncy house, karaoke, balloon twisting, and more. Refreshments, food trucks, and other vendors are available before and during the movie. The movie starts at 8. Huge thanks to Zaxby's of Clayton and Smithfield, Clayton Steakhouse, and the Clayton Downtown Development Association. Join us at the corner of Main and Fayetteville Streets. One of our biggest annual events is about to take over downtown. We're about a week from the annual Clayton Road Race. Register online now so you can run wild through the streets of downtown. It's Saturday, May 9th at 9 a.m. with a 3.1 mile race, walk, and tot trot for Tykes 6 and under. And there's a slightly newer course this year. You're still starting and ending at the same spot, but now we're going through the beautiful Candlewood and Willow Park subdivision. Residents need to be prepared for the two hour road closures. We're sorry for the inconvenience. Hundreds come out for this challenging 5K race that is a certified and sanctioned course of USA track and field walkers, and kids are welcome. Just $25 before May 5th and $30 the day of the race, and that includes a cool race t-shirt. Get to the Parks and Recreation page of our website to register. Everyone from 7-year-olds to 70-year-olds completed last year walk or run. Need to come to Town Hall to pay a bill or set up utilities? Utilities and billing has moved one floor up for the next few months. We're renovating so that paying your bill is easier, faster, and more private. While under construction, we'll be one floor up. Just follow the flashing lights in Town Hall or ask for directions. We can't wait to show you the new renovations later in summer. Some other changes for your Town of Clayton utility bill are on the way too. Starting May 11th, you won't be able to pay your bill by credit card over the phone anymore. Our vendor is no longer offering the automated phone pay system, but there are still plenty of convenient ways to pay your bill. Try bank draft for free. You'll never have a late fee or penalty again, and you can choose the draft date. Call us and ask to sign up, 919-553-5002. You can still pay online. Just go to the townofclaytonnc.org homepage, scroll down, and click on the utilities and billing picture. Then click on the large go to online bill play picture and pay online. Save time, save gas, save a stamp. There is a small convenience fee of $3.95 for this service. A third option is old fashioned mail. Slip your payment into the envelope provided by us and send to the Charlotte address enclosed or drop your envelope in the drive up box in front of Town Hall just off Horn Street or in the box just inside the door at Town Hall on the second street side. And of course, you can always come into Town Hall to our customer service counter. Just make sure you follow the detour signs as we just mentioned to avoid our renovations. Get a front row seat for an epic duel between officers and firefighters. The fire department is set to take on the police department again in the annual Clayton Lion Club Battle of the Badges. Once again, these two groups of first responders will challenge each other to a friendly duel to help raise money for the community and Clayton Area Ministries. The softball game is Sunday, May 3rd at Clayton Community Park on Amelia Church Road at 2 p.m. Admission is free. All you're asked to bring is a non-perishable food item. There's a 50-50 raffle, food, drinks, and all for a good cause. Come out and see this epic duel. If you're looking for fresh produce, look no further than the Clayton Farm and Community Market. The market is open Saturdays from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. at Horn Square in downtown Clayton. Several vendors from across Johnson County will be selling honey, vegetables, fresh eggs, cheese, as well as homemade soaps and other unique products. This is just another way you can shop local right in downtown Clayton. Another great event is coming up May 18th that follows the long journey of another historical Civil War figure. A Soldier's Walk Home May 18th at 6.45 p.m. is happening in conjunction with NC Tourism and Duke Homestead site. Philip Brown will walk from New Bern to Duke Homestead in Durham to commemorate the end of the Civil War and a homecoming for all veterans. When he hits Clayton, we'll help him walk into downtown with a public walk from the Compton House to Town Square for a reception. Yes, it's just getting warm, but the Clayton Parks and Recreation Department is now offering ice skating lessons through Polar Ice House and Garner. Beginner skating is for ages 3 to 5 for future hockey players or figure skaters. 
Basic skating will be for ages 6 and up to learn stops, swizzles, and even backwards skating. And beginning skating for ages 13, where teens and adults can pick up this amazing sport. All are eight-week classes beginning either May 9th or 11th. Get out on the courts. Tennis classes are starting up for children 10 and under, ages 11 to 15, and ages 14 and up. The next new session begins May 12th. Call 919-553-1550 for information. Don't forget Summer Playground Camp that runs June 15th through August 14th for ages 6 to 12 with daily activities both indoor and outdoor from 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. There's also week-long art camps for ages 9 to 12 and 13 to 17. There's a week-long nature camp for ages 6 to 10, tennis camps for ages 7 to 16, photography camp for ages 11 to 16, girls volleyball camp for ages 9 to 14 and Pacers baseball camp for ages 7 to 10. If you don't find a camp that's for you, you're missing out. And that's all for this edition of Clayton Update. Be sure to stay in touch by checking us out at townofclaytonnc.org, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Town of Clayton and on YouTube at Town of Clayton NC. See you next week.